Good morning, everybody. Dear Mr. Gertrude Ingestad, Direct, Director General of DIGIT. Dear Pedro Dias, Chief Executive Officer of uh, Administrative Modernization Agency. Dear Mario Campolargo, old friend, and uh, uh, I consider very much fellow panelists of this session, ladies and gentlemen. Good morning and welcome to Lisbon our beautiful European city and also Portuguese, of course. Thank you very much, very much for the invitation to be here today and for the opportunity to share with you some of our goals and initiatives concerning the subject of this conference, so important for us. Let me start by briefly referring some challenge we are dealing with in our administrations all of over Europe and not only in Europe. In fact, we need to prepare to the future, and the future is today. By, lo by looking uh, at what science and technology can provide us and the possibilities that they open for innovation in public sector. An example of this is the use of data analytics and artificial intelligence as a way of automatic data processing to prevent problems and anticipate needs. This information analysis enables us, for example, to provide better service to citizens, such as disease prevention or the creation of fully automatic systems in natural language. Another possibility is the use of augmented reality in the physical design of new services. And it's also possible to use technology like blockchain to ensure the protection and integrity of personal information data. These are some of the challenges, not all of them, that we can already foresee and that will require a different way of doing things, very different way probably, and reuse and sharing of resources. To pursue this goal, we have uh, cross-organizational IT in Portugal model through a council named CETIC where all the gov governmental areas at central level for the moment, we need to include local level, we know, F is representative. This council, this organizational model, is responsible for the national ICT strategy definition and coordination. We have approved the new uh, strategy for 2020 some weeks ago in the Council of the Ministers. Our strategy was built around three pillars. First, integration and interoperability. In order to be more efficient in our work and effective in the service we provide to citizens and businesses. Electronic notification through a common platform, as in Denmark, and interoperability between document management systems are examples of initiatives included in this first pillar. Secondly, innovation and competitiveness, to continuously improve public services and the way we deliver them. For instance, the online complaint book will allow consumer complaints to be addressed in a fast and completely dematerialized way. And also it's common, it's reused by the public system to the uh, yellow electronic book is, how is the name in the, 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 to complain in the public services. Thirdly, shared resources, the point. In order to make a better use, of actual ICT resources and avoid unnecessary duplication of investments. We have no money to duplicate. It's a problem. Cloud solutions, for example, enable us to store, process, and safeguard information on demand and in a distributed manner, changing how we develop and consume technology. And also in this pillar, there are measures related to the promotion of open source uh, applications. Citizens Portal and Document Bank are examples of applications already using open source software. Public administrations, all of them, 
and probably our public administration more than others, are under a big pressure to perform more efficiently and also to deliver services friendly, faster, and cheaper through different channels, namely the mobile ones. We want the public administration in our pockets. The sharing and reuse of IT solutions are crucial for that purpose. Not only to do more with less, but also to do better with less. First and foremost, we need to redesign our organizational models to do that. Not easy to do, but we need. Such as government as a platform. Not only for interoperability, we have a common platform. I, I know, I think Pedro Diaz are speaking a little bit about that and payments, but also for other common services such as I referred before, electronic notification. I hope very much your discussion today will help us in these debates. Secondly, we need to organize services according to users' needs, at, at least at front office level which demands more and more collaboration, standardization and interoperability amongst different entities, information systems at different levels, not only at central level, probably also at European level and national level and local level. Breaking silos is still our main constraint for both these tasks. Nevertheless, I have to confess to you that it's easier to break them in current situation than it was a decade ago. Anyway, those tasks always demand political decisions at high level, and special great diplomacy and capacity to involve public servants, all of them, not all the managers, in the process right from the very beginning when you want to redesign a service. We should never forget that this is a cultural change. That are culture barriers to remove and also communication barriers. You need to be patient, resilient and persistent in order to achieve this goal. Coming back to my initial words, I think that we can agree that ICT are allowing us to do more and much better, with probably with less, probably, in order to do so. We have to use them in a more transformative way and to rethink the way you, you reuse and share our resources, which are and always will be limited. This forces us to recognize that innovation, innovation isn't just an option in our organizational models, public models, and in the way we deliver our services. This is why we have created a lab to experiment new services, not only in Portugal, there are other countries and the European Commission also do that. Our lab is named LabX, is the Public Administration Experimentation Lab, a common model for all the administration collaborating with uh, universities, research centers, public and private sector at local and central level. Today, innovation is a survival condition to the public sector to ensure the sustainability and relevance of public services. Thank you very much, dear director, to be here today. And also, thank you very much for the paper that everybody must read and think about. And thank you very much, everybody, for your attention. Thank you very much, Miss. Maria Manuel Laitao Marquez.